The Samsung Galaxy S7 Tab had power issue. First, the power switch isn't working and the phone itself is unable to power on because the battery is down, has really gone down. So what we're going to do is that we're going to open this tablet to be able to see if we can fix it and know where the problem actually is. But I've opened it, but you can see there's a whole lot of crap on the screens, which sometimes while fixing these things, you can damage the screen. So I've already opened it and these are the screws that were removed from this tablet. So what we're going to do is that we're going to recouple this phone, put everything on this phone back to normal to see that it's working. And at the end of this video, I'm going to also review this Samsung Galaxy X7 tablet to show you what are the special functions, what makes this Samsung tab very special compared to Apple iPad and or the Apple iPad Pro that was currently launched by Apple. So now let's put everything in order. This is how the frame looks like. This is how the screen looks like. Just in case you want to open this phone, you have to be careful with the screen cable and we'll disconnect the battery, we'll fix the switch which was damaged. Then the next thing we have to do is to put everything in order to make sure that this Samsung Galaxy X7 tab works perfectly okay. Then we'll clip the battery. Then the next thing we have to do, we have to put this, which is the frame which is holding the screws and one thing I observe about these tablets, Samsung Galaxy S7 tablet is that it has a whole lot of screws inside it. I wonder why Samsung do all these things, put a whole lot of screws, screws that would take time before you can be able to fix it and this is the phone screen, this is how it looks like and this is where the cable is. So when you are dismantling this phone, you have to be very careful of this cord by the left side just in case you are fixing it then we have to put all the screws that was removed from these are the screws is being put at the magnet so we have to remove everything to be able to tighten every screws that was removed from this samsung tablet and these screws are quite much not what i expected so now we have to tighten everything before we can now be able to connect this screen some of the problem i see between fixing a samsung tablet and apple ipad tablet is that samsung tablets are quite easier to fix but some of the problems they have is the cable which is just added down close to the battery and the motherboard but compared to apple products what you see is that it's also same but I think fixing Samsung tablet is quite easier compared to Apple because Apple is more difficult. So this is how it looks at the end of the day with tighten everything. So it's now time for us to connect the screen. This is the SIM tray where they fix the SIM card because this particular one uses SIM card. When you are fixing Apple products at times, some of these Apple iPads don't use SIM card because I don't know why they do that, just few of them use this. Now there's a mistake which we just done and we have to remove every screw but clipping the screen we've gone to close where the screen would have connected. That means we would have fixed the screen first before tightening every screw that we put on this one. So we have to remove everything back. It might take a little time but these are where the connector is. So we have to connect then add glue to the housing that's a screen before we can now be able to close it because doing it this way to be easier for us to be able to fix the screen so we've added glue and we've removed some of the screw now for us to connect the screen cable or the flex now is being connected it has been connected we've gotten that then the next thing we have to do is to refix all the screws back then close this other side so that it won't have negative contacts with the screen and the motherboard then the next thing we have to do is to close everything since we've added glue then we have to tighten every screw that was removed at first from these screws once we are through tightening everything then before we can now be able to close the screen then give this phone a test to see if everything is working as we thought it would be Comparing Apple tablet with Samsung tablet is quite different because Apple tablet don't used to have these much screws. Now the next thing for us to do is to close this screen to now put it to test to see if it's working. When this phone was brought, it was already cracked. So all I needed to do was to 
be careful before I will be able to remove this screen. If I'm not careful, this screen might get damaged. This is how it looks like. Everything has been fixed. Now for us to put this tablet to test to see if everything is actually working. And let's also review the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 5G to know what are the special functions and what makes this Samsung Tab special or can it be compared with the Apple iPads which are actually out there not comparing it with iPad Pro which is currently launched but I think this S7 has some nice features one thing I like about this Samsung Tab is that the speaker is very loud these are some of the things I expect an Apple Tab to be able to do their sounds are quite low when comparing Apple with Samsung. Samsung tablet speakers are very loud and I put this to test but not on this video because of copyright issue. I don't want to put those ringtones and it was so amazing that the sound when you are playing music and all that you can see that it's very loud. So these are how the menu of these Samsung S tablets looks like. I love the fact that Samsung tablets uses SIM card whereby you can also use it to make call and their cameras are quite good also. Another amazing thing I find comparing Samsung and Apple tablets is that some of the Apple tablet screens are not of high quality that the display is not high compared to Samsung screens. Samsung screens display are very great in the sense that the picture qualities are very good these are how the frame of this phone looks like so now we're going to look at some of the major features like the storage the ram so make sure to give this video a like and share and don't forget to subscribe to this channel now these are the major functions in which we're going to be looking at in this samsung tab apart from the screen their batteries also last long let's come to device care these where we're going to get some of the major settings on this phone this sm tab comes with 6 gig ram and 128 gig internal storage which i think is very good and i think that's some of the reason why this phone is actually fast while operating this is exactly what i experienced is very it runs very fast i'm not a hater of apple products but i think apple needs to do some improvements especially on their tablets not on their phones their phones are good but their tablets is nothing to write home about this tablet comes with one ui version 2.5 and android 10 which i think is upgradable if there's any updates available and these are the battery status the battery level and all that in which is some of the normal things in which you get in your normal smartphone so these are some of the things in which the samsung galaxy tab s7 actually has or can do make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel